Hi, I'm Tyson, and welcome to another Geek Moment. Today we're in Thief River Falls, the global headquarters of DigiKey, taking a look at AMS's new ambient light sensor, the TSL2591. This sensor has some great new features that will make it an easy designing choice for engineers. The first feature that I'd like to talk about is the fact that it's got a dual photodiode setup as opposed to the traditional single photodiode. The photodiodes on this one, uh, first, the first photodiode looks at the visible as well as the infrared light coming in. The second photodiode looks at only the infrared and thereby the user can cancel the infrareds and look at only the visible light that's coming in and thereby making it closer to human eye response. And the other advantage to the dual photodiode setup is that it allows for a wider dynamic range, thereby giving you the chance to uh, encapsulate it under colored glass instead of the normal transparent and widening the aesthetic appeal in your product. Typical applications for a sensor like this may include handheld devices or tablets where you want to adjust the brightness level autonomously uh, based on the ambient light coming in. Uh, another application might be in an office where you've got a lot of uh, lighting from the outside coming in through windows and you want to adjust the, the, the total brightness in the room uh, and make it more level. And also both of these gain in, in efficiency, uh, battery life for the, for the tablet application, um, just general power for the, uh, for the office lighting application. But today we've gone away from the typical application and what we've done is taken the sensor and embedded it in this tube with, um, in a circuit with a pressure sensor. And what we're doing with this is we're trying to look at the, uh, the ambient light with regards to depth and uh, sediment in the water and refraction of the light that, uh, that happens on, at the surface of the water and, and as you go down in. So, uh, to show this off, what we're going to do is we've got a, a GUI on the laptop and we've got a read switch in here that when a magnet is waved over top, it'll power the unit up and give us a blinking blue light. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but that tells us that we're powered up and we'll go ahead and set this up. Uh, we're actually reading the data via Bluetooth. Um, so. We'll set this up so that we can actually give you just a little streaming data as an example before we uh, record to an EEPROM since the Bluetooth can't read through water. Um, we'll record to EEPROM and then later pull the data out. So we'll choose our COM port on the GUI and go ahead and connect. It says port open so we're good to go. And we'll go ahead and stream data and when I pass my hand over it, like so, you can actually see the, the light data uh, reduce and then replenish itself as, as the ambient light again is then detected. So that gives a little example and we're ready to drop this thing into the water. And we'll go ahead and start pulling data out, reading it to the EEPROM and We'll go ahead and drop this in the water. We've got ballast at the bottom that, and being that it's connected to this rope, it was able to travel down a nice straight path down to the bottom and pull it back up. We've got our data and we're ready to go ahead and stop the recording, print the data out and export it to Excel where we can further manipulate it. Well, that kind of concludes our little demonstration. We'll go back to the shop and, and show you a little bit about the circuit board. Well, now we're ready to show you a little bit about the circuit that we've got this, this thing housed on. Uh, we've got the AMS sensor embedded in the black foam here. Um, we've got the reed switch kind of hidden behind the foam and that uh, switches the power to to everything on board. Uh, we've got a 9 volt battery that's kind of hidden in the tube yet and um, we've got a couple LDOs that knock that 9 volt power down to 5.5 or 5 and 3.3 respectively. The 5 is for the pressure sensor, the 3.3 .3 
powers the ambient light sensor, the microcontroller, which is a PIC24, and the EEPROM. Then we've also got the, the Bluetooth module hidden on the back there. That pretty much concludes the, the circuit portion of, of the video. And be sure to check out digikey.com for the data sheet and the, any additional resources from the ambient light sensor from AMS, the TSL2591. Well, thanks for joining us and hope to see you next time on the next one.